Howdy everyone, SG Caper here, doing a little painting. Figured I'd show you what I'm doing. So I have a, I've been trying to go through my parts uh, that I have on hand, all my fodder, and use up some parts that I just don't particularly like. But I figured I might as well use them anyway. So I have a bunch of random ninja parts. All came from the various versions of the 25th Storm Shadow. And so I pieced them back together and figure out give these a paint and I was going back and forth on what to paint I have four of them made and I, I figured I'm gonna make one to look like this guy's legs it's my lazy man's version of Marpat I guess <clears throat> so pieced my figure together first step as always was I primed it with Games Workshop Chaos Black Primer. That was step one. Now, step two, I'm going to paint it with Citadel Base Castellan Green. Now, my colors are not going to be exact to what the camouflage actually is. There are some people who are, first, insanely talented at painting camouflage and they also go out of their way to make sure that the colors match up exactly with what colors are used in the real camouflage pattern i do not go that far i i try to just use what i have on hand i might mix something together slightly but i'm not going out of my way to make sure it's exact now Let's get started. This first coat of this Citadel base Castellan Green is going to be pretty messy overall. I'm not super worried about it being perfect. I just want to get it on there. And I, I want to get it on there as quick as possible. So I'm going to use a wide brush. I like to start at the arms. Don't, don't, oh no, don't ask why. I don't know. I just do. I'm going to go in and take the head off. Okay. Pop that head back on there. This isn't going to be perfect. I'm going to paint the whole thing. I mean, other than the flesh of the arms, this green. I'm not trying to make it nice, not trying to make it fancy. Anywhere that I may have chipping, I'll deal with that later. Right now, I just want to get the paint on. This isn't a figure I'm making to sell. This is just a figure I'm making to use up, to use up my parts. So I did cut away at the joints to make them chip a little less, but I didn't go crazy with it. You've seen my videos before, you know that if it's for me, I definitely don't put the same level of time in as I do for something that I'm selling. Now the top is done. Keep going with this green. Paint them up. Now there are a lot of people who disassemble their figures completely, paint every individual piece, and then put them back together. That's not me. I'm not that kind of customizer. I don't have the patience for that. Uh, hats off to the people that do, to the customizers that really get all in there. That's not how I do things. I'm more of a down and dirty customizer. At the end of the day, it's just fun for me. I'm not super worried about it being perfect. I'm not super worried about really anything other than having fun, trying new stuff. I'm not going to do the leg wraps because I'm thinking I might leave those leg wraps black. 
haven't quite decided, but for now, that's what they're going to be. So. Do, do, do. Make sure I got it all in there. Good. And now, I'm going to do the feet. foot okay one more part to do that's the head let's paint the head That looks pretty good. Just make sure there's no spots that I missed. Now, I got me a green ninja. Put that down for a minute, clean my brush. Now, the next color I'm going to do, I am going to mix. I am going to custom mix this color. And it is going to be a combination of Citadel Base, Morn Fang Brown. And I believe... Citadel layer, tolerant sand. I'm just gonna mix this over here. Try to get the color I want. See how it works. While I'm mixing, the figure is drying. You can't see it, but it's here drying. And I just want this brown a little more towards tan than it currently is. Not too, too far, but a little bit more. That actually looks pretty good. No, I didn't measure, I just guessed. Here's where my dirty technique comes in. I have had this particular brush for years at this point. It is beat up. It is just laid apart. It's a mess. And I love it for doing digital style camouflage. Because all I do, I load up my brush, I take my figure, and I start dabbing the paint on. And because of the way the bristles are, it really does a good job of spreading the paint out. And I'll give it a little turn every once in a while as I go. So that the pattern is really randomized. And I'm just going to keep going. I like this pattern of camouflage because it's really pretty hard to screw it up. Because really, you can do anything you want. You can put the paint however you want, put the colors however you want, and if 
do it right and you don't do too much, it'll work. And again, this brush is, I've had this one for years. My wife has asked me why I haven't thrown it out whenever she sees it. <laughs> and it's because of this. I like to use it for this. So there's step two. And you can add or take away as much as you want, uh, depending on the type of pattern you want to go for, what you're what you think. You know, so I got some paint rub there. I'll slice off a little bit more of that arm when I go to do the before I go to do the flesh tone. All right. Let that dry. Clean off my brush. Now, the next step for this, I did the green, I did the brown. Now it's a little bit of black, not too much just enough to kind of break it up. Get my brush cleaned. And now my Citadel Base Abaddon Black. I'm going to use this. Do, do, do. Should be more than enough. Now, you don't want too much of this because then it just overpowers it. So I do do less. I do try to think about where I want the black more. I'm going to have to check that. Not super important. If there's a spot where you feel like you put too much or too little, guess what? It's paint. If you felt like there's too much black, go over it with the brown. Or if you feel like there's too much brown, go over it with the green. That's the beauty of it. Is once it's dry, you can paint right over it. So if you're unhappy, fix it until you are happy. Do try to go with thin coats though, because if you do too much paint, if you've been doing this for any period of time, or if you're new, well, if you do too much paint, it starts to build up, it gets thick, it gets gloppy, and it just ends up looking bad. So do try to keep your paint layers thin, so this way if you do screw up, or you are unhappy with it, you can go back in and fix it. That's 
see. And then we'll up top. dark there. I might have to do a little brown there because that looks a little dark. Make some legs. All right, that's looking pretty good. Clean that brush. Put it down. Now I am going to fix this arm. So, other people have their ways. This is the way I do it. I'm just going to carefully shave off a little bit. So, hopefully, when I paint over that, it won't chip as bad. We'll see, though. All right, so here's where I'm at. I'm gonna add some details to this now to really show you what I'm doing. I'm going to get the black and there's some, on the edge of this key, there's this detail. I'm just gonna paint it black. The black makes a nice border. So what I'm doing. Taking my time, not in a rush. That's kind of the key, just take your time. You're not, unless you're making your living doing customs, which I mean, some people do, and you have deadlines to keep and things, just take your time and enjoy it. Make sure you do it the way you want it to look. black really breaks up the figure and makes the camouflage that much better in my opinion so far around the waist should start getting into the habit of wearing gloves and whatnot. Try to keep my workspace cleaner and all of that, but it sounds like work to me. And after working all day, I do not want my hobby to be work. Still, I should probably do it. So, there we are so far. Alright. It's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to do these leg wraps. I am going to keep them black, so. Leg wrap.
do the other. This is going to be one of my longer videos. Sorry, folks. I try to keep them short. Not only for you, but for me, because uploading these longer videos is a real pain in the ass. And this takes up a lot of my time. Sitting in here waiting for things to upload. I don't like it. Looks like I'm going to have to cut away a little bit of this heel here. I'm having the same issue with chipping. Alright. There we are so far. Still some more to do. Paint the feet, paint the sandals, arms face. Uh, I think I might leave the neck just green like that. I was thinking originally of doing it black, but I think I like the green. So, there we go. I'll finish this up and post a picture, but really the video was just about doing the camouflage. So, there you go. Down and dirty camouflage. Maybe you learned something. Maybe you didn't. Thanks for watching.